Hello everyone. If you put a bowl of water on flame, it will get warm within a minute, right? Now, take lots of water in a pan and put it on the flame. Will the water get equally warm as the water in the bowl in one minute? No. This means you need more heat to raise the temperature of more amount of water. So, we can say for the same change of temperature, the amount of heat absorbed by a substance is directly proportional to its mass. This means 100 gram of water would need more heat than 50 gram of water for the same change of temperature. So, if Q is the amount of heat absorbed by the substance and M is the mass of the substance, then we say Q is directly proportional to M where delta T that is the change of temperature is fixed or constant. Now you take some water in a pan and raise its temperature by 10 degrees. Again take the same amount of water and raise its temperature by 15 degree. Obviously you supplied more heat the second time. As the amount of water is fixed, that is, the mass is fixed, we can say we supplied more heat to do larger change in the temperature. And this means Q is directly proportional to delta T when M, that is mass, is fixed or constant. Now, if we combine the two equations, that is, Q is directly proportional to M and Q is directly proportional to delta T, we get Q is equal to M multiplied by S multiplied by delta T, where S is the constant of proportionality. Now, we need to know the value of S, that is the constant of proportionality, to use in this equation. Q equal to M multiplied by S multiplied by delta T. Or we can say S is equal to Q divided by M and delta T. So when M and delta T is 1, that is we are changing the temperature of unit mass by 1 unit, then S is equal to Q. So we can say the value of S denotes the amount of heat energy required for changing the temperature of unit mass by one unit. Now this value is different for different substances and this is called the specific heat of the substance. Now you may wonder why is the specific heat important? Specific heat of water is 1 calorie per gram degree Celsius. This means 1 calorie heat is required to change the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. So the unit of specific heat is calorie per gram degree Celsius or joule per kg Kelvin. The SI unit of specific heat is joule per kilogram Kelvin, which is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of the substance by 1 Kelvin. So to sum up what we learned today, the specific heat is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass by 1 unit. If Q is the amount of heat absorbed by the substance and M is the mass of the substance and delta T is the change of temperature, then the specific heat denoted by S is equal to Q divided by M multiplied by delta T. The unit of specific heat is calorie per gram degree Celsius. The other unit is joule per kilogram Kelvin.
and lastly the SI unit of specific heat is joule per kilogram Kelvin. That's all for now. Bye-bye.